I'm Jeff Philbin, and this is Dinner Diaz, the show that faces up life's toughest question. What am I going to make for dinner? Our suggestion today, spaghetti squash spaghetti. Low in carbs, but high in flavor, and we're going to show you how to make it taste amazing. Joining me to share her hearty, healthy recipe is Chef Ashley A.I. Subtle. You might know her from Selling Tampa on Netflix, which highlighted the South Tampa restaurant she ran called Main Course. She's also been a personal chef to dozens of celeb clients. But more importantly, though, than all of it, you are a veteran. You served our country proudly as a culinary specialist in the United States Army, and thank you so much for your service. It's, they say an army marches on its stomach. So what were you feeding the troops? Um, a variety of things. It was amazing, Chef. We were able to uh, feed them all things from all around the world. We've done Mexican Day. We've done uh, Soul Food Day. And then I kind of started tapping into the plant-based, you know, just being able to still have fun without all the meat. Absolutely. And How many were part of the troops? How many were you feeding on a daily basis, on a, on a meal basis? So normally we fed about a thousand soldiers um, and we did that for lunch and dinner. So um, a thousand so for lunch, a thousand for dinner. How do you do that on scale? Um, you just learn quality and quantity. Um, just working as a team, had a really great team in the military. And so everyone has their perspective spaces and everyone just pulls their weight and do we just bring it together. And you're going to be bringing together some meatless options for us today. So yes. we've got spaghetti squash here. Looks like you're coring it out. What else goes into your recipe? What are you doing right now? So right now I'm doing a little bit of coconut oil just so it doesn't stick to the pan. Um, and then it just softens it a little bit. And then we're just doing some Himalayan pink salt okay. and a little bit of pepper. And Perfect. we're going to put that in the oven. Perfect. So this spaghetti squash is making our spaghetti. Correct. Perfect. Perfect. And so now we can put this into the oven? We can. All right. How long is this going to be in the oven for? Um, it's going to be in the oven for about 40 minutes. 40 minutes. And it looks like we're putting it in at 350. Yes. Very good. And how many thousands of the troops will this feed? Uh, maybe four. <laughs> four. Okay. Cool. For very hungry. hungry. That's a small army. That's for a family sure. of four. All right. Very Absolutely. good. Absolutely. What's next then? So next we are going to work on our meat sauce. Okay. And so the beautiful thing is we are substituting meat for portobello mushrooms mm -hmm. and we are going to use walnuts. Now I did soak those walnuts for about an hour in warm water. Okay. So those are a little softer. Perfect. Now do you drain the walnuts before you add them in? Do you add that liquid in with the mushrooms? How do you do yours? So I am going to not necessarily drain them, um, but I'm going to just pull them out okay. and put them in. So you're still getting a little bit of that water. You're not necessarily just uh, draining them completely. Okay, perfect. So we're putting those mushrooms in there. Love it. I'll take that out of your way for you. Oh, here. perfect. Thank you. Absolutely. For Ashley's recipe for the spaghetti squash spaghetti, head over to dinnerdiaz.com where you can also watch this show or any of our other shows over again. Get your phone, open the camera app, scan the QR code in the corner of the screen, and a link will pop right up and take you directly to our site. Look, I turned over here and we already got our walnuts in there. What else is going in there besides just the walnuts there? So for flavor, we are going to do a little bit of, of uh, peppers and some onions. Okay. And that's just going to give it a little flavor. Sure. Perfect. Right to the brim, too. You know this is going to be good, then. We're, we're, we're getting all full here on this one For here. For sure. This is where you can be able to indulge because we're going meatless here. So it's Absolutely. like, all right, let's go big. Not too much, but you know, you can't get too much vegetables. <laughs> Perfect. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. Let's take a look here. I'm going to bring the fun handy dandy Chef Jeff cam. What I love to see is okay. I want to see that texture here from this angle here with everybody here on camera. To kind of see what we're looking for. And like you just really kind of did make it look like it's crumbled meat. Correct. And you may get a couple pieces of, you know, whole vegetable in there, but that didn't hurt anybody in the, in the past, right? Hey, it's never going to. Right. It's the good stuff. All right, got that? Perfect. Yes. Very good. And so we're just going to put a little bit of coconut oil on the bottom of that pan there. Okay. Yeah. There we go. It's over for you here. Now, coconut oil is a unique oil. What are you using it for this dish? 
So I absolutely love coconut oil because you can just use it for anything, but mm -hmm. it's just a healthier option yep. um, than using butter or margarine. So you're still getting that flavor. Now flavor-wise, are you going to get the sweetness of the coconut though? Yes. Okay. Yes, you will still get that flavor. Um, and again, mostly you're getting that same outcome, mm -hmm. um, just a healthier option, a, a cleaner taste. So you're not really getting that fatty taste, more sure. of a, like you said, that sweet and healthier taste. Nice, nice. All right. Let's take this on this side here for you. All right. So are we going to put any kind of flavors, any other seasonings to it there? Or are we just going to let this? Absolutely. So we're going to do just a little bit of pink salt. We're okay. going to do a little bit of garlic powder, not salt. Okay. And a little bit of onion powder. Nice. Um, and you only need a little bit. It goes a long way. Yeah, it does. And as you can see, as that gets to browning, it gives you that ground meat texture mm -hmm. there. And so much healthier right now. Yes. You know, because sometimes I struggle with it. I mean, I, I eat so much meat, but like it is so nice to have the alternative sometimes. And, and, and you know, what's really encouraging about a dish like this is that it's going to look like what you're having. Right? Absolutely. And so it doesn't have that polarizing feel to it there. So I like that. I also like that you use the pink salt. What was the reasoning behind the pink salt versus just using, you know, regular table salt or something else that would be a little more common? So for me, I absolutely love the taste of that pink salt. And again, it's the, a healthier option. Yeah. If you're going to use salt, uh, that pink Himalayan salt is definitely a healthier option. Nice. So you, you're going clean throughout every step now. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can still have fun. You can still have spaghetti. I made a chicken stir fry the other day, but vegan. So okay. you can really have fun, especially when you're, you know, health conscious. You can have fun still. You don't, you're not sitting there eating a carrot and a piece of broccoli. You actually can have fun and still eat plant-based. And it can still taste good, Absolutely. too. I think that's the key, is that it can still taste good. Absolutely. All right. What goes in next, then? Okay, so next we are going to add... Um, Italian seasoning, basil, and oregano. Okay. And that is going to give you that Italian taste there. Mm -hmm. um, and even if you're not making spaghetti sauce from scratch, even if you're using a jar of sauce, you want to make sure you add those in because it's going to give you that flavor that you need to uh, completely change that um, item. I love that because it brings a familiarity to it as well. For sure. That's, and that's one of these cool things about a dish like this where you are taking what has been a staple, right? I mean, it, it, you know, you've got spaghetti, you've got a bolognese, if you will, for this, but it's like, hey, how do I still keep that flavor profile alive knowing that the ingredients are completely different? Absolutely. So, very, very cool. And then afterwards, we're gonna do our tomato paste. Nice. And that is gonna give us our um, spaghetti sauce. Mm -hmm. And then we have our tomatoes. Now, do you do, do you use diced tomatoes uh, and then you just, what, drain yes. them? Yes, so I use diced tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I keep all of the juice in there Great. as well. Right. Um, and sometimes um, could put some stewed tomatoes if you really like tomatoes okay. and you're just trying to get that meaty um, look to the spaghetti sauce. Absolutely fantastic. Well, we're going to keep our sauce simmering here. And while we take a quick break, when we come back, the perfect side dish for this dinner idea, sauteed asparagus with a vegan cheese sauce. It's coming right ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, a different idea for your dinner every day. Joining us today with her idea is Chef Ashley Suttle. She served more than just meals over her career. She's also served our country and was decorated for her work as a culinary specialist. This looks like it's you receiving some level of an award? Yes. So I received the Army Achievement Medal uh, for preparing the Army's 241st birthday cake. It was an honor because the Army's a Gemini like me. Nice. <laughs> Nice. So you guys get to share that same level of uh, horoscope together, For and sure. that's really special. What's really also truly special is that she's bringing us a low-carb but high-taste meal. Spaghetti squash spaghetti using the squash as the spaghetti, which we put in the oven before the break, and a vegan sauce, which we also started using walnuts, mushrooms, all in place of the meat. What else do we need to add? 
So we've added a little bit of minced garlic and just some uh, spinach for flavor um, and for color. Uh, and you're just getting a little bit more vegetables. Can't go wrong with adding spinach in there. Can't go wrong with adding that one there. And in, during the break, we also added some cherry tomatoes and just a little bit of brown sugar as well. So get a little sweetness happening too. Perfect. And break down some of that acidity. So now we also have another healthy but delicious side dish, asparagus with a vegan cheese sauce? Yes, yes, my favorite. How do we do this? Okay. So for that cheese sauce, we already have our veggies mm -hmm. boiled here. We have, um, we're gonna add these okay. into the processor. Perfect. Now how about the asparagus with it? Should we get these on going too? Yeah, sure. Okay. So let's do that. So I can help you with this part. Okay, perfect. So we're gonna put a little bit of coconut oil at the bottom of that pan. Okay. You can use that. Now you were doing something kind of interesting just a moment ago with the asparagus. Yes. So I was Show popping me what you in. were just doing there. So you're just popping that end piece off there. And that's literally just the, the shortcut of knowing exactly yeah. what you need to cut. Absolutely. I love it. Okay, so I've got some coconut oil on here for you. Sure, and then we're gonna go ahead and put those down in there. Perfect. And what are we looking for with the cook? Are we looking from a time standpoint? Are we looking from a color standpoint? Um, you wanna make sure it's still giving that bright green uh, tech, uh, color, but mm -hmm. then you just want a, a tender um, texture. Um, and then just for it to just kind of brown off okay. there. So you still want that crisp. You don't want anything mushy. No mushy. Yeah, no one likes sure. mushy vegetables. All right. And while we let that cook, gonna come in and add our veggies. Now what is going inside it right now? Okay, so we have some butternut squash, mm -hmm. we have onions, we have carrots, and celery. Okay. And those carrots and squash is gonna give you that yellow color nice. for the cheese sauce. And how did you cook them? I boiled these. Okay. You, yep, you can boil them on the stove. If you don't have the stove space, you can put it in the oven, um, as long as they just get soft. Nice. And what else goes in? And then we are going to add cashews. Again, I did soak these for about an hour. Okay. Um, that way that they're soft and they can break down a little better. Perfect. And then after the cashews, we are going to add some yeast, nutritional yeast. Okay. And that gives it that flavor too, really, Where do really you good. you find nutritional yeast? Is it hard to find? It's not, you can find it at Publix, you can find it at any like health food store, like a, a Sprouts okay. or a Whole Foods, um, but it's really not hard to find. It'll be near like the baking soda, baking powder. It won't be in a seasoning aisle. What's the taste like then? Um, it is a very like tangy taste. Okay. Um, and so, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go the other side of the spoon here. Okay. Because I wanna try your cheese sauce, but I wanna get this on first. Okay. Yeasty delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I can understand why it's being, why it's being incorporated in there. There actually is a ton of flavor behind it that is going to just bring this all together, so. For sure. Okay. And then you just added in what? And then we added in some paprika, some um, uh, garlic powder okay. and onion powder. And then we're gonna just put a little bit of vegan cheese in there. Okay. Um, I love this vegan cheese and it's just gonna add to that cheese sauce. Okay, wonderful. And because we were able to bring some of the moisture out from uh, soaking our cashews, having our vegetables, that's gonna be that liquid base that we kind of have enough to kind of bring this together? For sure, right. absolutely. Let's see it come together. Perfect. Now, visually, is it how you like it? Um, so 
one thing about this that you can always have fun with, you can always add a little bit of anything that mm -hmm. you may need to do. So maybe just a little water, just to get to that consistency that you want to get to. So what I'll probably do is come in on this cashew water, just add a little bit of this to that, and that way we can get a little bit more of a loose consistency. Okay. Makes more of that cheese sauce to it there. Correct. Perfect. Well, we're going to add that in. We're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're going to check back on our spaghetti, squash spaghetti, which has been baking in the oven and see Chef Ashley's cleverly recycled serving suggestion ahead on Dinner Diaz. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz, ideas for how to feed your family from the best chefs around. And today's guest has literally fed thousands. Chef Ashley A.I. Suttle served our country as a culinary specialist in the United States Army. Now she cooks for celebrity clients and for her own army at home because you're a mother of three. So I gotta ask you, parent to parent, is it easier to feed them or a hungry platoon? It's probably easier to feed the platoon. <laughs> <laughs> I can, I bet, I can imagine. It's Everyone's got different palates. It's absolutely. Absolutely, I love it. Yes. All right, so first steps here, you have been uh, cooking up the spaghetti squash spaghetti. And no, my friends, that's not me scrambling the script. She's scooping out the squash to be the spaghetti for our meat-free sauce we made earlier in before the break, and along with a side of sautéed asparagus with a vegan cheese sauce. Now, let's see this all come together. It's all about the presentation. So you've already taken everything out. You've already made the whole spaghetti noodles look like real noodles. Yes. And so now we're going to place this asparagus here over our vegan cheese sauce. And then we're going to add on our uh, meat sauce. Absolutely fantastic. It's very pretty. And it's, you know, when I think about this too, it's healthy. There's vegetables. There's flavor. Sorry. It's everything that you would be anticipating and wanting but being able to elevate it in a way that says, hey, here is a great option for you to be able to have. Uh, mm -hmm. you know. And beyond that, it's gonna be an easy cleanup too because we're using the spaghetti squash as the actual bowl itself too. Absolutely. Come on now, that's just even more fun. And then we're gonna put a little vegan Parmesan on there. Okay. And a little fresh parsley. I love it. Okay. To make this for your army or family, get Chef Ashley's recipes at our website, dinnerdias.com, or you see the square right there on your screen? That's a quick response or a QR code. And if you open up your camera on the phone, point right at it. A link to our website pops right up and it takes you there so you can be eating this. I can't wait to dig right in for this one here because I think forks are at the ready. And this is that time, is my favorite time of the show, for us to go see if Ashley's tour of duty in the kitchen here has produced an idea for dinner worthy of the name, Dinner Dia. Welcome back to Dinner Diaz. Joining me in the kitchen is Chef Ashley A.I. Subtle. Thank you for being here, but more importantly, thank you for your service to our country. Uh, absolutely, that, that in itself is a joy to have you here today because your culinary career began in the military as a culinary specialist in the United States Army, but these days you're sharing those skills with celebrity clients as a personal chef and with us, a beautiful and healthy but not heavy meal of spaghetti squash spaghetti. We baked the squash, which became the spaghetti, and now the bowl, which we're serving it in, alongside a meat-free sauce, plus we had a time for a beautiful asparagus with vegan cheese sauce, but now, that time is our time because it's taste testing time. Okay, I'm digging right perfect. in and doing the spin and the twirl like I want when I'm having spaghetti. And you can do that. It's coming together. It's moving. It's all there. This <laughs> tastes like what you would want a spaghetti and a bolognese sauce to taste like, right? Absolutely. And you can feel absolutely fine going back for more. You're not gonna feel like overloaded from the heaviness. Now let me ask you this though. I'm loving it because I am looking for some alternatives because I eat too much uh, processed meats, I eat too much meat. And so 
An alternative like this is absolutely beautiful. You do this on a day in and day out, though. I do. How's it taste for you? Amazing. <laughs> I love it. Again, I like to feel good from the inside out. And so you can go to the gym a million times. You can do so many things. But if you're not, you know, getting healthy from the inside and, you know, doing alternatives like this, you know. And for those that want an alternative, it's about balance. Like, we're not mm -hmm. saying, hey, you don't have to have it all the time, but you incorporate this in slowly. Absolutely. You can totally have some fun with some great ingredients and with great people. Thank you again, more importantly, for your service to our country and then being here with us today. Thank you for that, first and foremost. Ashley, a link to her, um, uh, literally, it's, it's a joy to have you here. And thank you thank for, again. You. A link to her website and the recipe for the dishes she shared today are all at dinnerdias.com. Scan the QR code to get there. And when you're there, let us know if you made any of our ideas for your dinner. And send us a picture of how they turned out because that's what Stephanie from Avon Park did. She made the tarragon chicken with morel mushrooms, which was brought to us by Chef John Lister from Tampa restaurant Ava. She said it was delicious and served it with a mashed celery root, sauteed Brussels sprouts. And let me tell you, that looks absolutely beautiful, Stephanie. Thank you, everyone, for watching. I'm Jeff Philbin. See you next time with more Dinner Diaz. Anytime you're hungry for a great dinner idea, just go to dinnerdiaz.com. That's dinner, D-E-E-A-S.com. You'll find the complete recipe featured on today's show, plus a whole list of other dinner ideas.